BPH is also called as benign prostatic hyperplasia. It is non-malignant growth of prostatic cells in numbers as well as size and they are just an enlargement of physiological prostate as the age grows on that is called as BPH. BPH is uh, very commonly diagnosed first of all based on the history and followed by few minimal investigations. Simple clinical examination can be done through per rectum uh, finger digital per rectum examination as well as the most common thing is the ultrasound. Ultrasound abdomen and pelvis will give rise to the BPH diagnosis and also it gives the functional assessment that is residual urine that means once one who passes the urine whatever the amount which is stored behind even complete voiding of urine that gives the functional uh, residual status of and the severity of the BPH and many modes are there which also gives BPH like MRI prostate also can give rise to the diagnosis of the BPH. Prostatic artery embolization uh, it requires pre-surgically to prove it is only benign that is non-cancerous enlargement of prostate it is BPH and it requires certain minimal uh, blood investigations uh, including the renal function test and especially most important thing is prostate specific antigen value it has to be generally it should be below 4 uh, and it, it has to be well documented to prove it it is a benign and followed by uh, a minimal uh, invasive uh, imaging like uh, ultrasound to document the size of the prostate and hence uh, few blood tests uh, before the procedure including bleeding time and clotting time. These are the minimal requirements uh, in, in the pre procedure uh, preparation of PAE. Basically, prostatic artery embolization is the selective embolization of prostatic arteries to shrink the benign prostatic hyperplasia, wherein we can enter into the radial artery in the hand and then go through the iota and then, uh, then selectively into the prostatic artery below and then embolize selectively only prostatic arteries under local anesthesia wherein patient can be in the conscious state. It may take half an hour to two hour procedure and after that immediately patient can walk and go out of the cath lab without any pain. PA is involving the blockage of blood vessels and then it is under local anesthesia, painless and uh, no blood loss and daycare procedure and hence minimally invasive. Whereas the traditional surgery it includes a transurethral uh, entry and a lot of blood loss, electrolyte imbalance, painful and it has to be done under general anesthesia and it requires admission for one or two days. It is very simple in the post procedures of PAE. They can be discharged in the same day and they can be uh, take the self medications in the home in the uh, from the day of discharge which includes uh, minimal antibiotics and uh, few pain relieving medic medications uh, that has to be taken for few days and then nothing else they can uh, routinely take their regular ailment medicines. <laughs>